Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. I'll tell you the the colors when I was out yesterday, the colors of the trees and everything is really popping in this area. It looks really beautiful. Uh, a lot of reds and oranges and it's definitely uh definitely looking really good. I mean the the leaves are all coming off of the trees as you can see. I mean we got some of the trees over here definitely not very many leaves left but uh, yeah it's that time of year so a lot of a lot of trees uh, leaves are coming down ah uh, well that happens <laughs> we know what's coming next right <laughs> after fall it's not so much fun winter but uh, anyway I uh, wanted to talk about in this video I wanted to talk about uh, the situation with um, North Korean troops going to Ukraine um, and will that accelerate things uh, because if they decide to and, and again I mean there's a lot of speculation with this whole thing and uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do going to go where the wind is not so strong. We're going to the pavilion. So you guys can hear me better. So we're going to walk over here. Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now the wind died down, of course, as soon as I decide to move. <laughs> Come on. Get in here. Come on, watch out. All right. All right, we'll stand in here so that way we got the wind block. Uh, anyhow, so you got North Korean troops, they're saying, are in. Um, Russia, they're going to help with Russia with fighting in Ukraine. Now, if that's the case, uh, you know, I, there's talk that uh, they're saying that they're not going to be treated any differently, that they're going to be an enemy combatant. Will that accelerate things? Could that lead to, you know, worse things happening? Which it absolutely could. Um, absolutely could. So it's just the uh, situation is not a good situation by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, you're looking at, you know, it, it's almost as though, and I'm not, I, I mean, I, what do I know, right? But it's almost as though they want this war to happen. They want some major conflict to happen. Uh, it's craziness to me. The whole thing is just absolute insanity. doesn't make any kind of sense. Why would you want things to accelerate? Why would you want things to get worse? Uh, why would you want a World War III? Why would you want that kind of conflict? Nobody wins in that situation, folks. Absolutely nobody wins. Uh, it would be decimating to the planet. You know, I mean, the, the technology is so much better now than it was during World War II or World War I. I mean, you look at those situations... Uh, things are a lot different now. Uh, you would have a lot of troops being wiped out, you know, with with uh, precision missiles and all that type of stuff. It wouldn't be your traditional war that you would think of. Uh, it would just be a, it would be a horrible, horrible thing. And again, at the end of the day, nobody would win that situation. And who would suffer? You know, the average citizen of whatever country. I mean, you look at when there is a war situation, who ends up suffering? You know, average citizens, men, women, children, you know, no food, no supplies coming in, uh, all kinds of issues, and, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a terrible, terrible thing. It doesn't, doesn't solve anything. It doesn't make anything better. But uh, I'm hopeful 
um, you know, I don't have a lot of, I'm hopeful, but I don't have a lot of faith that cooler heads will prevail. Um, it, it's almost as though they want this to happen. They definitely want to see an acceleration of stuff. They want this craziness to continue. For what? You know, I mean, realistically, if Russia had wanted to, Ukraine would have been done a long time ago, folks. I mean, a long time ago. So, I mean, why, again, I want you to think about this. When these wars are drawn out, you had, again, so we'll go with something else here again. Israel, steamrolling, steamrolling through Gaza, right? The Gaza Strip, steamrolling through it. They get down to that last enclave of, you know, uh, a spot, and they just stop. And now it drags on and on and on and on. It's always about money at the end of the day. War's about money. If you think war's about, you know, respect or, or whatever reason somebody's been slighted, it's about money. Those bombs cost money. As long as we can keep making sure you're dropping those bombs, you know, keeping a reason for that to continue on. And, you know, now all of a sudden you, you all kinds of humanitarian aid and all this type of stuff. Where, where's the humanitarian aid from around the world? folks for the people in North Carolina right I want you to think about that who helps us right in those situations who's helping us nobody we always are the ones always giving money if we're supposedly you know and, and again I and I use this speculatively because I, I I think it's all BS anyway when they talk about oh we're you know almost 34 trillion in debt no we're not no, we're not. If we decided tomorrow we're not in debt anymore, we just print the money and pay it off. That's the end of that. It's all a game. It's all a manipulation. Um, it's, it's disgusting, realistically. The whole thing is disgusting. And it just continues on and on. And keep people keep buying into this, this whole thing of, oh, my God, we're, this country's in so much debt. If we're in so much debt, why do we keep giving money to other countries? Why do we keep financing all these different things if we're in so much debt? Does that make sense? I mean, if you're broke, if you as an individual are broke, are you letting people borrow money from you that you don't have? Does that make sense? In large sums of money. We're not talking about small amounts. I mean, wake up. You know, realistically, wake up. We're being played. Being played all the way along. So... Something to think about, folks. All right, I'll talk to you later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.